Okay, let's figure out the charge on scandium. Scandium plus two fluorines equals uh, plus one. Scandium uh, plus two minus ones equals plus one. Scandium equals plus three. Okay. Okay. So since it's plus three, I look at my periodic table. Oh, there's no electrons there. So this has the electron configuration of argon, or as I like to write, d0, meaning no electrons for the d orbitals to work with. Uh, and so, yes. Uh, and there is one mistake in this problem, which is irrelevant to the problem. But uh, the question says it's orange. That's incorrect. It can't be orange. What color is this? It's colorless. It's a d0. Um, but it didn't affect the question at all. Okay, any other parts of that question, or is it cool? Okay. I have a question about that first. Yeah. So, uh, for one of them it says, um, this is split and I put linear and vent, but it can't be vent, and I don't know why. Oh, okay. She's wondering why this is not bent. You're thinking too intelligently is the problem. Remember, we're only working with four possible shapes for transition metals. Not that there aren't more, but we're only working with linear, square planar, tetrahedral, and octahedral. Those are our only best for shapes, so there's only four to choose from. You are right, it's possible it could be bent, but that's kind of outside the scope of our class. So that's why we're not worrying about it. But it, bent is a best for shape that, that could work. Um, but I was looking more for, of the shapes you know that we're working with, what shape is it? That's why but linear for it. Okay?